when I was at DS, we had a guy working with us, um, and you know we're, we're still really good mates. He's a Plymouth boy, funny enough, uh, Ray. And but bit of a bit of a um, you can't use the word chubster now, can you, or porker? Bit overweight. Of course you can. Call him a oh, fat fuck if you want him, mate. Like... <laughs> anyway, a little bit away from because he wouldn't stop eating. Right. So he was the kind of guy. <laughs> That's usually out. why, mate. Yeah, exactly. We'd go out, he'd be eating. Go out and arrest somebody, he'd be eating. He never, ever stopped eating. But he was a good lad. And um, I spoke to him a couple of times. like, look, mate, it's not really professional. You know, we're out there. Um, <laughs> you know, you're, yeah, that's you're eating your pasta, <laughs> you're eating your sandwiches, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you know, blah, and I, you know, and I, just constant. I, yeah, it's const- constantly eating. So I told him and told him and told him. So in the end, I thought, right, I'm going to have to fucking sort it out. But but I didn't, like, think, what right, I'm going to set him up. I just thought one day... I'm going to try and have to teach him a lesson. Anyway, so one day we're doing observations on a um, on a Discworld driver. So someone that's been Discworld, we knew that he was driving. We're just sitting up there waiting for him. And out on the radio came, um, and it comes out quite frequently, person not seen for a while, strange smell coming from the house. A lot of people die, especially if they live on their own, until yeah. they start, whatever. So it was literally about 20 metres from us. Now, we don't normally deal with that because we were a crime squad, but I said, but... But I can't help myself. I always like to, to get involved and do stuff. So I went, yeah, um, um, Tango X-Ray from, from DS Kennedy. Yeah, that we're just opposite. We'll go and deal with it. No problems at all. So I went round to the address. Ray is eating a huge, I mean, a huge mulberry pork pie. <laughs> <laughs> so we get out of the car. He's still fucking eating the pork pie. I'm used to it now because there's no problem. But I thought, mm, yeah, maybe, maybe. So um, lock on the neighbor's door. Yeah, um, listen, yeah, there's a young lad. So... Um, lives at this address hasn't been seen for a number of days the house is a bit pongy so right I said kick the door in let's go and have a look so Ray kicked the door in still holding his pork pie kicks the door in you can smell it straight away right so 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 I'm looking around and it's like I I just got this feeling something's not right here so we search downstairs nothing come on Ray let's come upstairs fuck me fucking anyway so we go upstairs (laughs) And um, search, I think, I think. so this is Carly Road in Uxbridge, so three bedrooms. We search two bedrooms, nothing. Go into the third bedroom, and the smell now is just overpowering. So we get in there, and obviously Ray hadn't noticed it, but I'd noticed it, so I'd noticed some blood spots on the wall. So all about, I'm starting to think crime scene. Yeah. But obviously we haven't found the body yet. So um, the bed's dishevelled again. There's more blood spots on the bed. But nothing. I'm not saying anything to Ray yet. I'm saying that Ray, blah blah blah. So anyway, there is a cupboard in the bed, and I'm thinking, fuck is in the cupboard. So some type of murder, some type of incident, and he's in there. But the smell is overpowering. Ray has still got his fucking pork pie. In. So what? Even with the smell? Even with the smell, he's still eating. He's chomping away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still fucking eating. Still chomping. <laughs> do you know what you say? That's fucking weird. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> so, yeah, but do you know what? It might be nerves as well. Sometimes I, I've seen cops eat, and it's a nervous right. thing. They just feel anyway. Right. So I thought, right, I'll fucking all right. I'm gonna fucking teach. All of a sudden, I've got a plan formulating in my head. So what, I was a dead back. body. <laughs> so I stood back. Sorry, I'm waiting for the. I stood back. Take, Ray, take away, kick that door in. I said, kick that door in. Said, yeah, why should I do it? I said, look. I said, kick the door in. We need to find out if the body's there. So this time I'd, so this time I'd step back. And um, I'm by the door, literally about two or three metres away. And, um, and Ray's by this cupboard. So Ray gives it a big with his, with his boots. The door kicks in. And I'm not joking. He is covered in maggots, flies. Obviously, they've got the pork pie as well screaming out the room, followed by a waft of flies, his pork pie, which he's still got, is covered now in maggots, screaming down the stairs. I'm there laughing my socks off. So it being a murder, obviously, it was a it murder. It was a murder. It was a murder. A matey boy had been put in, into this cupboard. Um, but Ray was literally just covered in head to toe in maggots and flies. And that was my little, and from that moment on, that was the end of his pork pies. <laughs>